Hello, my name is Michelle Simon. I'm an application engineer here at Zeratech. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic release workflow on Team Center's Active Workspace interface. I'm logged in as a Team Center administrator, which gives me access to this workflow designer application. When I click into this tile, I see on the left hand side the template manager pane. This shows us all the previously created workflows. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and create a new workflow. I'm calling it Quick Release. I can add a description here, and I can also base it off of a previously created workflow. In this case, I want to start with a blank workflow, so I'm going to make sure none is selected here and hit Add. My quick release workflow has now been created. I can see it in the template manager pane with a yellow check icon. This icon means that the workflow is offline, so no users can use it yet, and it is available to edit. This gray area is the workflow layout. This is where we will build our workflow process. The bottom tab here is where we can specify certain details and attributes for the workflow and its tasks. This is the task palette. This shows us all the fundamental tasks that create a workflow. Most already have a certain operations, but we're free to customize it for our workflow needs. If I scroll down, we have two path types. Paths connect the different tasks within our workflow. The success path is followed if the previous task was completed successfully. The failure path is followed if the previous task was not completed successfully or was rejected during a review or acknowledged task. So the first thing I want to do for this workflow is create a do task. I'm going to call it initiate workflow. When I select this, I can see I can edit some of the information on this bottom tab here. And with a do task, we can create task instructions for a user. Um, for this, in this case, we're going to be doing the workflow starter. And that user will determine if they were able to complete the instructions or not. So for this case, I want the instructions to be that the workflow starter ensures all attachments have been added and complete a self review. Now that I'm happy with my instructions, I'm going to create a success path from my start step to my initiate workflow to mark initiate workflow as my very first task. My second task we're going to add is the review task. I'm going to call it validation review. And the review task has two different tasks under it. We have the select sign off team. This is where we choose the reviewers and the perform sign offs. This is where the reviewers will do their review and sign off. So in here, I'm going to skip adding instructions and go straight to assignments. I'm going to create a constraint where the reviewers can only be in the manufacturing group and the manager role. So I will go through this pretty quickly. Um, but we will review our assignments in more detail in another video. So here I'm just searching for the manufacturing group and the manager role. I'll add that. I only need one person to do the sign off for this step. I'm going to add that. And now I'm happy with my assignments here. So I'll add a success path type. So once the initiate workflow has been completed, the next step is to do a validation review. And then my last task is the add status task. I'm going to call it add released status. And this task is an automated step where once the validation review has been completed, all my target objects in the workflow will have the specified release status. In this case, I want the release status to be released. And then I'm going to add a success pathway from the validation review to the add release status. And when that's complete, we'll go ahead and finish the workflow. I can take a look at the entire workflow from here. So we'll start with the start step. Then the workflow starter will initiate the workflow by ensuring all attach attachments are made and to do a self review. Then it's going to go into a validation review step where the workflow starter will choose between a uh, users that have the manufacturing group and the manager role to do the review. 
then that user will do a review and sign off. And then the workflow target objects will have the released release status and the workflow will finish. I'm happy with this workflow, so I'm going to end this edit and turn the workflow online. So now other users can use this workflow. That's all I have for you. We'll go ahead and explore the workflow designer more in depth in some next couple of videos. Thank you. Thank you.